This is another edition of Red Cedar Technologies educational series. In this series, we will cover the many ways HEADS enables you to discover better product designs faster by automating the exploration of your simulation models. Today, I will be showing you how to use the Star CCM portal with HEADS to quickly set up an optimization study and allow HEADS to modify your design. There are two separate ways to use Star CCM for a design exploration study. The first is to utilize its embedded CAD software, 3D CAD, to create your design and run a CFD analysis on that. The second is using Star CCM with an external CAD package, importing a design and analyzing the model. In this video, I will couple the processes to show you how to do both in a single analysis. These methods work equally well if you were to use only one or the other, but for demonstration purposes, I will be showing you both at the same time. So to start here, you can see the geometry is being visualized for the simulation. I have a Y pipe on the right hand side, and this has been created in the three dimensional CAD software that I mentioned, embedded inside of Star CCM. And then I have a curved pipe on the left hand side, which has been modeled inside of SOLIDWORKS and imported as a parasolid. So to see that, we'll open up the geometry tab. And if we look at the parts, you can see here, pipe extension is the SOLIDWORKS part, and Y pipe is the is the right hand side part and that's the part that's drawn in 3D CAD. So first what I want to do is I want to tell HEADS which geometric dimensions it's going to modify. And so in order to do that I'm going to have to open up 3D CAD modeler, right clicking on the model and hitting edit. And I have a sketch here that kind of defines how the pipe is being extruded. And what I want to do is I want to modify this radius to see if that improves flow through the design. So I'm going to right click on this and edit. And so the radius that I'm going to deem as important is this radius here. And you can see that right now it has a dimension of 50 millimeters. So I'm going to double click on that and I can modify the value uh, in the dimension field here, uh, but I can also expose the parameter. And so in doing that, I can name this parameter and I'm going to name it radius. And that allows HEADS to extract the value so that it can modify this variable. Doing that, if you open up design parameters, you'll see I now have a design parameter called radius. So going to the other leg of the pipe, you'll see this a similar drawing here. I'm gonna go ahead and edit that. And you'll see the same measurement, 50 millimeters. And what I wanna do is instead of calling it, instead of exposing it as another parameter, I want these to be equal. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna call out a dollar sign radius, which is star CCM's embedded code to tell you that this is a defined variable. And I'm gonna hit okay. And now you'll see that if I modify this value here, so we're going to change it to 0 0.1, and hit enter and update, you'll see that my geometry changes. So let's set that back. So now I can close 3D CAD. I can update my part. So now all of the geometry changes have been defined. I'm going to change a dimension inside of 3D CAD that corresponds to the radius of that Y pipe. And then in the pipe extension, recall that those variables are going to be defined inside of SOLIDWORKS. So I don't have anything to do for the geometry of that. Now that that's done, I have this model fully set up. I have three separate scenes here, geometry, mesh, and velocity magnitude on the outlet. What's important is to set up scenes that are critical for you because what HEADS does is it automatically extracts an image of every scene. I also want to create a field function so I can show you how to tag a field function and I have that done already here where I have a, a field function for the inlet velocity and I have that set to 50 millimeters per second. So if you were to view the inlet boundary conditions they would have this inlet velocity set for the field function. And so when it comes to variables HEADS can modify field functions it can modify geometric changes that have been exposed through the design parameters. It can also modify boundary conditions. So for example, I wanted to modify inlet velocity or turbulence intensity, for example. Something along those lines can be modified. Lastly, when it comes to responses, I'm going to create reports for all the responses of importance. And so I have here, I have an, the number of iterations so I can tell when my simulation converged. I have mass flow through the pipes, pressure drop, as well as surface uniformity of the outlet velocity, which is actually going to be my objective function. Now that I have everything set up inside of Star CCM, I can go ahead and I can open up HEADS. To start, I already have the first part of my analysis defined. I have my SOLIDWORKS portal active. I also have the SOLIDWORKS part uh, defined as my input and my output files. And if I go into the SOLIDWORKS portal, 
you'll see here that I'm exporting the CAD in a parasolid form. So everything is done as far as the SOLIDWORKS part is concerned. Now what I want to do is I have my star CCM analysis. So I want to click on the star CCM analysis in the top. And I want to tell it that it's going to execute, since it's executing from left to right, I want to tell it that it's going to execute SOLIDWORKS first and then the star CCM analysis. So I'm going to click to the box to the right. And now I have two boxes, a SOLIDWORKS box and a star CCM box. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the input files. I'm going to right click and add input file. It's going to be my ypipe.sim file. And now since I have a geometry part coming from a previous analysis, I'm also going to have to add that as an input file. So I'm going to right click and add input file. It's going to be this pipe extension solidworks.parasolid. Go ahead and open. And then what I need to do is I need to tell heeds that this parasolid part is going to come from the SOLIDWORKS analysis. Click on the drop down and I choose SOLIDWORKS 1 and you'll see now that an arrow comes and basically what that means is there's a file that comes from SOLIDWORKS to the star CCM analysis. So now that I have my input and my output files defined I want to go ahead and click on the star CCM portal tab. Doing that you'll see the two different parts that are available inside of this sim file. I have the pipe extension and the Y pipe and the pipe extension is the one that's coming from SOLIDWORKS. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the drop down next to that and tell it that it's going to be this parasolid. So every time HEADS runs, it's going to take this parasolid and it's going to replace the part pipe extension with this newly created parasolid. The other options that I have here available are the licensing options, depending on what licenses you have available. I can tell it the number of cores I want it to run for this for each job. Uh, whether or not I want to run a serial process or if I want to run it in parallel. I also have options here to clear the solution history and the solution fields, as well as removing any invalid cells from the solution domain. Clicking on the visualization tab, we'll also see that all of my scene images, as well as all the plots, are created as images. So I have the residuals and my three other plots, as well as the three scenes, all creating an image, as I had previously mentioned. So once that's all defined, I can go ahead and continue on to my parameters tab. Here I have the two variables for my star CCM model, the radius and the inlet velocity. And I also have two variables for my SOLIDWORKS geometry to create the pipe extension part. Clicking on responses, I have four responses here, uh, iterations, the mass flow, pressure drop, and the surface uniformity of the velocity. So once I have defined all of my variables and responses, now I need to go ahead and tell HEADS where those responses exist in the simulation files. So clicking on the tagging tab. First, I'm going to tag my SOLIDWORKS part. So I'm going to click on the SOLIDWORKS part that has the green arrow associated to it. That's the input files here. So you'll see that I have three input files, the SOLIDWORKS, I have the ypipe.sim, and I have the parasolid part as well. And two output files defined by the blue arrow, which is the, the solid part as well as the ypipe.sim. So to start, I'm going to tag my SOLIDWORKS file. I'm going to choose from the variable drop down list my SOLIDWORKS variable 1 and tag that, and my SOLIDWORKS variable 2 and tag that as well. Then I'm going to go ahead into my SIM file, my ypipe.sim, again with the green arrow next to it symbolizing the, that it's an input file. Clicking on that, you can see that I have a couple of different options here, uh, the first of which is design parameter. And so since I have radius selected, I'm going to click on the design parameter. It's going to open up the 3D CAD model that I have, and then it's going to read all of the design parameters that I have set forth. And of course, I have the one set forth for radius. So I'm going to tag that. Other options include mesh base size. Uh, you can also, as I've mentioned, I created a field function called inlet velocity. I have my inlet velocity tagged here, so I'm going to go ahead and tag that. And then you also have boundary physics conditions that you can modify. So uh, for example, if these weren't set to be defined by a field function for the velocity, they would have velocity here as well. But you can choose turbulence intensity and viscosity ratio. And if you choose the outlet, you then have the base pressure as well as the turbulence intensity and the turbulent viscosity ratio. Once I have all of my variables tagged, next I must turn to my responses. So I'm going to click on the drop down for the file and I'm going to choose the Y pipe sim that corresponds with the output file. And again, that's uh, denoted by the blue arrow. Clicking on that, you'll see that my reports are here. I see the five different reports that I have created um, and I can just go ahead and tag those. So first up is iterations in the response dropdown. So I'm going to click on iterations and tag. Mass flow, click on that and tag. Pressure drop and tag. 
and surface uniformity and tag that as well. This concludes the Star CCM portal video. For questions regarding the rest of your analysis, please consult the General Heads video. Thank you.